Levante, you, that game couldn't really have started any better for you guys, but it couldn't have ended any worse, I guess. I mean, how, right. what is what is the <clears throat> feeling right now processing this? The feeling is real bad. Um, there's no other way to explain it. Um, it's explained for itself. So we just got to go back to work tomorrow and just get better and, and figure out how to pull pull through and um, you know just win those games. Levante, uh, first half you guys were getting that pressure on the quarterback and you know forcing some mistakes. What happened in the second half? Um, honestly, I can't tell you until I watch the film. Uh, when we go and watch the film tomorrow, well, I'm going to watch it tonight, but when we go as a team watch it tomorrow, um, we'll figure out those things that we missed on and get better at it. You guys faced over 100 players on defense. Is that kind of pressure with fatigue setting out? Um, I guess you can say that, but at the end of the day, that's what we work hard for in the summer, um, just to shine off all. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we just got to uh, push through it and, and compete and, and help get the offense the ball back. Like what goes through your mind as, as the lead kind of starts slipping away and mm -hmm. you can't get off the field as a competitor? I mean, what are you feeling in that, those moments? Um, just keep pushing, man. We, uh, eventually, we got to make a play. We got to make a play. The time running out, uh, so like I said, we got to make a play and get the ball back in the offense's hands, or not our hands, and try to go score. Is the locker room any different mood-wise than it was this time last year after that Virginia Tech game? Um, it is very different. Uh, everybody in there is confident still. Um, we got better, obviously, uh, when lose or draw. Um, so everybody, you know, we're, we're still pushing through. It's the first game. We got a lot of games more in the season. We can't let one loss affect our season. Were you surprised at the, the way their true freshman quarterback kind of maintained his composure throughout the game? Um, not really. I was just out there. We just just playing, really. So I mean, at the end of the day, we all young men out there. Uh, there's a reason why he out there for that team starting as a freshman. Uh, so and they just gotta play ball. What do you think the defense missed so many tackles? Um, I really can't tell you. Um. There's all, all, always a saying, um, the first game is always more missed tackles because in practice it's like more thud. So that's the only thing I can guess. I guess one. You guys cut down on the pass interference calls. How did you feel about the secondary's coverage overall? Um, yeah, we got a lot. We were a lot better. Um, obviously, uh, we just, just got to find a way to get the ball back, takeaways. Um, so that's all I can say. And that second fumble by Hampson mm -hmm. between you and DJ. Yeah. Did you guys have a miscommunication there about? Yeah, so we go through every day in practice of city or country fumble. Uh, in a tight situation like that, you want to just jump on the ball. So I was just trying to jump on the ball and recover it, get the ball back in the offense hands because of the tight situation. Uh, I didn't even, I guess he just took it, tried to take it. I was already on the ground trying to grab it. So it was just miscommunication. Everybody was just trying to get the ball back. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, that's all that happened really. Yeah, I know you said you guys have to move forward from this, but mm -hmm. is it kind of hard not to get hung up on those kind of moments? Or? Yeah, because it's so close. It was a blow-up. So it was like, you're supposed to blow them out. Like, yeah, so, yeah. The tackles, I know, were something that Coach hit on. Mm -hmm. um, was that something you guys had seen before? Was that kind of out of nowhere, or the missed tackles? Oh, uh, the crazy thing about it, we talked about not having missed tackles before the game as well. So it just had happened. Um, but we'll get better at that. Coach reference staying in the cocoon to kind of, you know, not have any of that outside noise come in. What do you do uh, personally to prevent any of that stuff from kind of getting to between your ears? Yeah, um, well, staying on social media, uh, you know, people are just going to talk. They don't really know nothing about football. Um, just uh, go back, watch film, and get better. Um, and make plays, really. And win the game at the most, most part. Coach also yeah. talked about, you know, you guys have, you know kind of how to deal with adversity, but you got to learn how to win. Mm -hmm. um, what, to, in your mind, goes into learning how to win? Um, well, with that, there's, there's a lot of guys on our team that won before, um, obviously. Uh, we just got to find a way just, just to win um, and just, just keep just keep playing and know the scoreboard uh, and just keep fighting and pushing, you know, because we worked so hard during the summer. So I feel like we should, you know, we're going to keep pushing. And what was the mood and the mentality in the mm -hmm. locker room at the half? Um, at the half, we were juiced up. Uh, well, and some of just, you know, like, it's supposed to, it's supposed to happen. Like, we're supposed to blow them up. Um, but, you know, we slipped up with one. Yeah, and you, don't, you guys only talk about last year, but what you guys went through last year, is it extra motivation after this game to make sure that doesn't happen again? Yes. Um, like, during the game, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, um, I really can't speak on the offense because we're on different sides, but I know we just kept saying, like, we're not going to lose this game. So, I mean, for us to lose that game, it hurt, but we only can get better. Um, you know, last year obviously pushed us because we don't want to have a season like that again. And I'm sorry, to go back to what you just said. Mm -hmm. You said, you know, you guys were turned up in the locker room at the half. Is that something, like, going forward y'all got to learn? No, nah, we're just, like, confident, like, like we're supposed to win. We're supposed to, we're supposed to be doing this. Okay, so y'all yeah. felt like, okay, this mm -hmm. is what... Feeling, you just feeling good, yeah. Okay. You, you said you thought you guys were going to pull out? Yeah, we were supposed to. 
no questioning about that. What did the locker room hear? You talked about the locker room at halftime. This locker room post game with the loss. Did it feel different than losses last year? And how? Um, yes, because it's a learning experience. Um, just, you know, just going to learn from it and get better. What was the locker room last year after a loss? Was it more like down on yourself? Was was there someone who stood up at the after this game and said something? Or? Um, I mean, we obviously we do that after every game. Uh, you know, we just got to talk because at the end of the day, we're all young men. So we really don't know that much yet in life. So obviously everybody says something to us and we're going to push on and get better. Thank you.